Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for this 23rd Annual Business Solves Conference and Annual Citizens Awards. I'm Peter Fadul, and I lead the Sustainability and Circular Economy program here at the Chamber Foundation. I am honored to be joining you to present the award for Best Sustainability Award alongside a longtime partner of the foundation, Pat McCrumman from DuPont. Thank you, Peter. Um, I, I just have a couple of remarks. Typically, the uh, award winner from last year would be here. That's Biogen, uh, who won the Sustainability Award. And uh, they couldn't be here, so I'm stepping in for them. Um, what I'm struck by is just the, the, the number of times you hear collective action scale impact today. Uh, and you'll hear more tomorrow as well. Um, but what also struck me yesterday as I was driving into work, the radio was on, and I heard the announcement that the Earth's population reached 8 billion yesterday. 8 billion. What was, that, that was striking enough, but what was more striking is that in 1970, there were 3.7 billion people. So if you imagine how that iterates, um, we have a lot to do. <laughs> and uh, so as we think about the future, there's, there's no doubt that we have to work together. And the partnerships that are created here are clearly more important than ever. So that's why I look forward to this conference every year, um, the opportunity to connect, to collaborate, and ultimately work together similarly to what you just heard in a variety of uh, areas that are going to be really important for our future. Uh, so I'm, uh, you know, in sustainability, uh, obviously this is a big issue. And so as we think about uh, that, the finalists have too. And um, I'm pleased to uh, let you know who the finalists are. It's The Body Shop. Uh, and uh, theirs is entitled Refill Revolution, Cleaning Up Its Act to Clean Up the Planet. That, that's their words, not mine. Um, uh, Microsoft uh, for Circularity at Scale, and Norfolk Southern uh, for Reimagining Fuel Efficiency. So with that, we'll go to the videos. The finalists for the 2022 Best Sustainability Program Award are The Body Shop. The finalists for the 2022 Best Sustainability Program Award are the Body Shop. The Body Shop helps consumers embrace the refill revolution with its five-year plan to open stations with refillable products in many of its global stores. A major step in helping the beauty industry reduce plastic waste and embrace the circular economy. Customers can refill the brand's products by using 100% post-consumer recycled aluminum bottles. The Body Shop launched 556 refill stations in more than 40 countries in just one year and saved over 3.7 tons of plastic globally. By making the most sustainable choice easy, convenient, and accessible, The Body Shop empowers consumers to reuse rather than waste. Microsoft Microsoft Circular Centers process the company's decommissioned cloud servers and hardware sorting and intelligently channeling the components and equipment to optimize, reuse, or repurpose. The program aims to reuse 90% of Microsoft's cloud computing hardware assets by 2025 and is on track to meet that goal. Decommissioned servers processed by circular centers are finding a second life in schools as a resource for skills training programs. And components are repurposed in various ways including in electronic toys and gaming systems. Circular centers enable Microsoft and its suppliers to reduce waste and emissions across the supply chain. Norfolk Southern Corporation 
Locomotive fuel accounts for over 90% of Norfolk Southern's carbon emissions. In 2021, Norfolk Southern appointed an inaugural director of fuel efficiency to mitigate its environmental impact as the company works toward reducing emissions intensity 42% by 2034. Under the director's leadership, the company successfully introduced biofuel at a major Norfolk Southern fueling location, continued the railroad's locomotive modernization program, and coordinated energy management and fuel conservation technology implementations. These efforts led to notable fuel savings, including conserving 217,000 gallons monthly. Thank you so much to our finalists. We're always amazed by the impact that these companies are making in this category. Um, and this year's no different. I know that our judges must have had a tough time deciding. But um, without further ado, here we go with the award and the best sustainability program winner for 2022 goes to Microsoft. And accepting on behalf of Microsoft is Allison Knox. On behalf of Microsoft, um, uh, thank you for this award. And thank you to the US Chamber and the Chamber Foundation for organizing this lovely event. And um, to all the finalists, congratulations on your great efforts. And to all the companies in the, in the room and all those who are advocating in behalf of sustainability, thank you for your work. Um, I'm, my name is Allison Knox, and I'm the Senior Director for Education and Workforce Policy Programs. And I'm based here in Washington, DC. We're especially proud to receive this award because of what it represents. It's the representation that corporate citizenship programs can actually make a difference. And we do believe that we're making a difference. Um, as the film mentioned, we've committed to being carbon negative, zero waste, and water positive by 2030. And by 2050, to remove the environment um, from all the, all the carbon the company has emitted either directly or by electrical consumption since it was founded in 1975. Our annual sustainability report provides a much more complete picture and it provides some transparency into the progress and the way that we're making progress toward our goals. And it also provides information about the various programs we have underway throughout the world. This particular award recognizes our circular centers. They are facilities, like you saw in the film, located in our data center campuses that enable circularity at scale. And this is for our cloud computing hardware. Our goal is to reuse 90% of our cloud hardware by 2025. And we, with these centers, we're on track to meet the goal. Thank you again to everyone for this recognition.